Welcome everybody here, ZZ Top Classic. We're gonna get a little real grounded mud on our boots. And look up Francine. What a song. We are in standard tuning. I've written this out. My notes are right below. This will really help. You know, I always research my lessons. And the biggest thing I learn from are the live uh, videos. And there is a live video of these guys. Um, they're playing this song, and it is in Chile, 2010. Live in Chile, 2010. I'll put a link below the video, too, with my tab. And you can see some of the nuances that Billy does, especially when he plays a C hammer on. But he is, and you'll see his pinky reached up there playing the C note part of it. So we'll talk about those nuances and some of the things I learned from his live videos of this song. For this song, it's based in the key of C, C, F, G. All right, played in different spots, but basically those are the chords and we'll be playing C minor pentatonic. All right, but we're gonna be actually doing the blues scale. So we'll add the F sharp or G flat, however you want to look at it. Right to that pentatonic. So we'll go over all of that as we get into it with the solo. But the intro, we're going to start out, we're going to slide from about the ninth fret, second string, and tenth fret on the third string, up to respectively second string at 11 and 12 on the third. Then we grab on the 3rd and the 2nd string, the 10th fret. Alright, at that point, what we're going to do, jump up to the 5th string, and we're going to hammer from 11 to 12. And then we grab the 10th fret of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd. Alright, so to that point, 1, 2, 3, 4. At that point, I notice Billy jumps up and he plays a B slid into a C. So we'll be at the 4th, 3rd, 2nd string again and sliding from the 4th fret into the 5th. So that lick will repeat four times in the intro. So let's go through it two times together for a measure. One, two, three, four. Okay, like I said, there'll be another measure of two of those, and that's the intro. Verse one, like I said, we've done two measures of the intro. Verse one starts up with a starts out with a pickup lick. What we're going to do, basically hammering in at this 8th position from the 8th and 10th string on, I'm sorry, 8th and 10th position on the 5th and 4th string. So it's almost like a double stop, all right? And then we're going to hit 8 on the 4th and 3rd string with a little vibrato. <laughs> The rest of the time he does it, it's more of a just fifth string, eight hammered into ten. And then the two eights on the fourth and third. But this first time, it's kind of like when he comes back in, he's just grabbing, and then into, with that pickup lick, into the verse. So the verse, let me play this first measure for you with the pickup lick, and we'll talk about it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Alright, so what we're doing there, basically palm muting on the on a C chord, power chord, we'll just be playing initially the sixth string two times and then the fifth and fourth one time held for just a little bit. So we have this. It's Think of this funky groove that they got going on. All right, we got. That's not palm muted, but that's kind of the, is palm muting 
twice on the eighth fret of that sixth string and then hitting palm muted the tenth fret and letting that semi ring. We do that three times. On the fourth time we hit the eighths and then we go into the lick. Like I said, we'll be on just the fifth string, eight hammering into ten, and then catching eight on the fourth and third string. Alright, so I'm going to go through this twice. Hell, we'll do the whole thing with the pickup because it's the same. Alright, so the first measure of the verses will be this one, two, three, four. <laughs> the second measure of the verse. So after that lick, we come to this G, alright? It's, it's basically, you don't need the top half of the chord. We're just going to be playing on the sixth string at that third fret. We're going to mute. This will be a G power chord, but we're going to hit that muted string. It's part of this feeling of going through the chord. So we go through to the third string. Again, you'll hear the muted note. Alright. He'll let that ring for four counts. Then he just hits the fourth and third string again. So we'll have this. up to a uh, C referenced power chord, if you will. We're just going to be playing on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. Be like a C 5th. Alright, 4th, 3rd, 2nd string. We're going to add on this suspended part of it. Alright, which makes up our F. If we were playing a cage system. But anyhow, we take this C and the suspended. But, again, noticing live and listening to the recording, you can really hear him uh, playing off of this C note on the 6th string up here at the 8th fret. So it should sound like this. Let me just take it from, um, let's finish out the first measure of the verse and go into this second measure. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this. We're hitting that 8th fret palm muted and then we're laying down that suspended, hitting that, then hit it again and hit it off. There's no pull off, it's just hit twice on and once off. Then we come, and I should say between that we hit the 8 muted. So we have this. is two more hits. Paul muted on that 6th string 8th fret before we come back into the G. Now when we come back into the G we're going to go open 6th string and then play the 3rd fret. So like I said that little uh, lick it we come in with the open. So let me play that for you. So I'm going to play verse one with the pickup and then at least measure one and then I'm going to go through measure two and three so you can see that and then we'll show you what we're doing. All right one two three four. <laughs> Verse 
Here's one. We do have that pickup lick as he comes back in, and then he reprises the intro, but only for one measure. So he will only go through it twice. <laughs> And then we're into verse 2. We're into verse 2. Now, verse 2 will go through, just like we have with verse 1, the only difference at the end of verse 2, the pickup note is moved, or pickup lick, I should say, is moved a full step up. So instead of 8 to 10, we're going to be going 10 to 12, landing on 10 here. <laughs> Move that lick up to 10 and 12. That 10 on the fourth and third string takes us into the bridge. The bridge is your basic, it'd be like we were playing an F chord and adding our pinky. But I notice again live, Billy's just, he's right here, so he's just putting his middle finger down on the fourth string while playing the third string. So we're going to play the tens twice. Then we're going to add that 12th fret on the 4th string back with the 10 on the 3rd string back to another 10. Slight pause. We'll do that six times in the first measure of the bridge. So after six times, we just move everything up. So we'll be referencing a C now, adding 12 on the 5th string, while playing the 4th string 10. So we only do that 2. So our 6 and 2 gives us our 8. Now the last part, we come back to this F on the 4th and 3rd string, add the 12 for 4 more times. At that point, it stops. There's no chord. You'll hear the bass and the drums a little bit, but then we come in and reprise the intro. Okay, we'll do that twice, and that finishes out the bridge. At that point, we are into the solo. After the solo, which is two measures long, we reprise the intro again. All right, one more measure. That'll go through one more time. And then we are into verse three, all right? So for verse three, what we do, and this takes us out of the song. We're gonna start out with that first measure while we come in with the lick. C with the suspended. That G lick and the C suspended will take us out of the song. He'll do that four measures as the fourth measure goes along it starts fading out more and more. So again I think all my notes will help you. We're going to go over the solo next. Now we start out with this. They are slow bends and I've abbreviated that as such in my notes. So what we're doing there, like I said, we take that 11 on the second string, slow bend up, then catch 8 on the first string. We'll do that twice. Third time we bend 11 with some vibrato. It's not a slow bend. Then we're going to grab 8 on the first to 11 with a bend and release and then hit 8 on the second string. Then we do the same thing on the third string, but from the 10th fret with a bend and release. 
And then what we're going to do is go to eight, but hammer into nine. All right, so we have this. At that point, we'll catch ten on the fourth string. A real nice blues move. And then we come to the first string at eight. First time, just hit it. The second time, give it a pinch harmonic. So the next measure of the solo, I'm going to cover this in two parts. We're going to go over this note lick, and then we'll go over the chord lick. Alright, what we're doing is bending up on that second string at 11. Then we catch 8 on the first string and take off from there. We'll come to the second string, 11 to 8. Then we come to the third string. Here's that blues lick on the 11th fret with the F sharp. Down to the 10th fret. Then we move to the second string at 8. Back to the third string at 8. Alright, so we have this to that point. Then we catch 10 on the fourth string. Back to 10 on the third. To eight. Back to ten on the fourth. And then eight on the third, but a slight bend. And then catch ten. The little vibrato, and then ten again. And then we go eight on the third to ten, slid off. Okay, that's a whole note lick, so let's go over it slowly. One, two, three, four. At that point, we move to the seventh position. We're going to be referencing this D chord, but we'll be only playing on the third and second string. And we'll be hammering on and pulling off, well, really pulling off, I should say, from the eighth fret and the tenth fret. All right? So we start out, uh, we're covering seven. Just leave your first finger over the third and second string at seven. We're going to start out with our middle finger on 8 and pull off to 7 as we hit both of those together. Then we hit 7 as they're ringing. Then we're going to pull off from the 10th fret. Catching 7 again and this is all ringing. Again 8 to 7 and then 7 um, on the third string. Then we come up to 10. And the last one will be our 8 to 7 pulled off with both 7s and then hitting 7 on the third. So all together we'll have this. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the end of the lead, and then we reprise the intro for a measure, so two times through. Then we go into verse three. Like I said, the first measure is what we've learned, and the last three measures that take us are out take us out are the G into the C uh, suspended and pull-offs. So I really hope that helps everybody. My notes are below. Thank you for letting the ads run. If you buy me a beer, God bless you. That is wonderful. I, I really appreciate everybody. Enjoy.